Hello my friends and welcome back. Welcome to another day in the life, another vlog, another rainy day here in Virginia. It's pouring down rain, it's been raining all day. It's supposed to, ra it's supposed to rain all night, but it kind of like stalled out and now it's raining today. Last night there was like the second day in a row of like tornadoes all down in the south and really crazy scary, I mean, it's springtime, but like crazy weather. But anyway, it's not like super cold today, but it's not warm enough to be sitting out here and for long but <laughs> I came out here every time I start my vlog inside the animals are like all over me or I have to go like stand by the back door and it's not exactly sunny out so I thought maybe I'd have some better lighting out here so anyway a lot of y'all like to watch us uh, or weather watchers like me and you like to see the weather um so it is yeah pouring down rain has has been all morning it's afternoon now but um welcome back Thank you so much for coming back. I posted a video today and I just did a little, at the end of it, I was just talking a little bit about how much I appreciate you all that just consistently watch and consistently leave me positive, sweet, kind comments. It's just so nice to know that there's like people out there who are genuinely good, kind people and, you know, are, are like-minded with me. So anyway, thank you so much. I need to get through the comments. I don't think I've like hearted any of them because I need to sit down and really focus on that and like probably spend about an hour. Sometimes it does take me over an hour just to get back to comments and even just to read through them and like them. But thank you so much. Like I said, it means so very much to me. So today I am going to run a couple errands real quick. I've been hesitating because it is so nasty outside and I kept going back and forth. Do I want to I have to obey Belle today. I'm, it's a long story, but she's been to the groomer before and she got super anxious and they did a terrible job. Like they didn't even hardly cut her hair. And so Madison is the one that usually cuts and bathes her and she doesn't live here anymore. And so it's on me and I took her in and they just did a terrible job. And they said she was so, so anxious and she is such an anxious dog. I think it would just be easier. So I've been thinking about it for a while. Like maybe I could try and do it myself. I don't know how it's going to look, but if it's bad, I'll have Madison come over and fix it. But I'm going to attempt to give her a haircut because she looks like she stuck her little paw in a light socket. It's just like flared out everywhere and it is definitely necessary. So rather than taking her in, Oliver, we take him in and get him cut. He has to be like shaved, completely shaved. And he also like tries to kill us if we get the razor out and try to cut him he literally acts like he's gonna kill us but for them he's wonderful they say oh he's wonderful <laughs> so isn't that just like you know just like kids with their parents like they're so great for everybody else <laughs> but um Belle just gets like so anxious so anyway that's gonna be an adventure I've never cut her hair before so I'm gonna try that today and I kept thinking well, I want to just do that tonight and go out during the day or I don't know or do it now and not go run my errands but I think I'm gonna run out I need to run Ross I'm gonna take that really pretty pink dress that I got I'm gonna take it back because I've had it for like a two weeks or something and I've thought about it and I just I think I'm gonna take it back and I do need to get um, I need to look for a wedding gift so I'm gonna do that I got a train the birds and the rain <laughs> hope you can hear me but um, and then yeah I don't know I'll, I'll run out and then when I get back this evening I'll probably bathe her after dinner Patrick is gonna come over he always comes up I mean Lately, he's been coming over every Thursday because we go over his budget because he gets paid on Fridays and he likes to eat dinner. He's actually, if you read his book, he travels with this um, group called the Kings Players and they travel around the country, actually, all over the country, and they do like play a play at different churches and um, it's a really great ministering tool and people get saved all the time and he's like, a couple of the roles are really, really, really like made for him and so they asked him can you come for two weekends in april so he's going to be gone for easter and he's he's got practice tonight so um he's going to come over at like six and then i'm going to make dinner and then he'll leave to go to practice at seven and then he'll be gone for two weekends um i think this coming weekend and then the next one which is easter and then he'll be back the next weekend and then it'll be his birthday so anyway um yeah that's our that's our plans for tonight i think i'm gonna make cheeseburgers i might make one of my little super simple sugar-free recipe well not sugar-free this is like a low low in sugar recipe um yeah we'll see how it turns out also because i know i'll get questions about this um little bow i have in the back of my hair i mentioned it in, an, in a previous video but i got it on amazon so and also in other news i finally i've been on youtube for five years this summer and i finally just made 
an Amazon shop. <laughs> like, I don't know why it took me so long. I've thought about it for literally years. But everything that I've bought from Amazon that I like is linked in my Amazon shop and it's gonna be now, from now on, in the description box of every video. So all you gotta do is click on that link. It is an affiliate link. If you buy anything, I do get a small commission, but it is there. So anything you have a question about, um, if it came from Amazon, it will be linked in that shop. So these are linked in that shop. I think I paid six something, but I think now they're like $9.99, but it's a pack of like five or six and they're just super cute. They're scrunchies and they have a little bow on them. So they're called bow scrunchies. If you're interested, because I do get a lot of questions about them. To like it takes me like five minutes to calm the dogs down when I get home I know I'm not the only person that has to do that it's like every time we walk in the door especially me they just like will not leave me alone and then the cats came in crying because they wanted to eat and ah, anyway it's still raining it was pouring down when I was in the store so I went to Ross to take back that dress and then I ended up buying two other dresses but uh, I definitely think I'm going to like these dresses better. And their prices are just so good. And like I said, we have a wedding and then we have Easter. And then I just needed like some dresses because, you know, I have lost some weight since last year. So I'm always looking for like just easy summer dresses. Nothing, you know, my style is, is comfortable. <laughs> so anyway, I did find a couple things. So I thought I'd share. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in like my little hauls or if you're not interested. I mean, I've asked this before and you say that, yeah, you like to see what I picked up. And I know I like to see what people picked up. I love when they include a haul in a video. So just let me know. I guess hopefully you like them. I'm going to share. If you don't want to, just fast forward a few minutes. <laughs> um, but I, I had to get some dog shampoo. Like I said, I'm going to bathe Belle. And we were out. We have like a little tiny bit left of like a, an old one we had, it was like a flea and tick, but we don't need that. So I knew that they had them at like Ross and TJ Maxx. So I got this was $3.99 and it's just a lavender scented shampoo. What's it called? Tail and Paws. So I'm going to bathe Belle. She's going to smell so good. I love lavender scent. That was $3.99. And then I bought this shirt because it fit really cute. I'm always looking at like, you know, I wear t-shirts and sweatshirts. Like that's what I live in, but it is nice to have like some dressier shirts for like going out sometimes I want to have you know and I just don't really have any so I didn't think that this one was going to fit me but it did and it's so pretty so like the floral is so pretty and I love this you know gathered it's kind of what is that called I forget but it's flattering so anyways I love this it's lightweight so it'll be nice for spring and summer this was $11.99 and I also bought a pair of shorts just because these were super comfy you know I like to be comfy and I like that they're a little bit longer than like most shorts so these will just be great in the summer when I need just to be comfortable like cleaning at home and stuff these were $8.99 and then I just saw this dress and I was like that color is beautiful I'm always drawn to bright green I don't know why um but I did not think it would fit it was not in my size but it totally did totally fit and it is just beautiful. I'm gonna have to like iron the little ruffle here, but it was so pretty. I love it. It's like not real long, but it's definitely long enough. And it's got these like cutouts in the sleeve, so it's nice and breezy and cool. So that's gonna be so nice. I know this is probably not like my best color, but I love this color. I think it is so pretty. And this was $14.99. It's machine washable and all that. So that was a, that was a bargain. And then I bought this dress I have a dress that's blue it's similar this is actually a maternity dress it's called Siren Lily maternity and it was $12.99 but I have a couple things in this brand and they don't fit like maternity like they would they would work for maternity but they um, fit like they're very flattering actually and they don't make you look pregnant but 
it's this like it's actually a little bit longer it's definitely like right past my knees it's got like the tie in the middle but it's not like so much that it makes like this is really flowy and makes you look pregnant not at all it's actually very flattering and slimming and it has like an under under piece so this one was so pretty and I can actually wear like a cardigan with it if it's like cooler weather you know so that one was pretty did I tell you how much that was $12.99 so this is the other one that I have that's the maternity. It's the same brand. I don't know if you've ever seen me wear this, but I wore it to like Danielle's bridal shower. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And you would never know that it's maternity and it ha it's like this real sheer fabric. Anyway, if you have a Ross, check out the little dresses. They're the maternity. This is not, it does not fit like maternity. It's got, I'm trying to <laughs> show you, it's got like the under under piece also but it's just super pretty i love the blue and the pink and in case you're in case you saw the blog where i bought this from sam's i'm gonna take this one back it's really pretty it's just not it's kind of weird up here it's got like these really big cutouts for the sleeve and super sheer up here so you know you have to wear something underneath and i don't know if i want to layer and it's this one was like twenty dollars so it's beautiful if you have a sam's and you know you can't try on there so i'm going to be taking that back so it's now five o'clock i sat down for like an hour and a half and did absolutely nothing <laughs> and then i realized it's five o'clock i gotta make dinner i'm gonna make hamburgers tonight i don't know if i told you this earlier but um yeah patrick's coming over i just had these in the freezer i kind of like forgot like I didn't have anything on the meal plan for the for today or tomorrow and then I'll go shopping this weekend but I just kind of looked through what I had in the freezer in the refrigerator and I had ground beef and curly fries and then I have some broccoli I need to use this up so it's a strange meal but burgers fries and broccoli <laughs> but it'll be delicious I just made my broccoli with olive oil salt pepper and garlic powder I'm sure you've seen me make these before it's just that simple put them in the oven about 15 minutes at 375 and roast them and they are the best thing in the world <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and make some hamburgers and when I make my burgers I just use I like to use this 93.7 meat it's just what I like it's just the one I use for everything and then I use a packet of Lipton onion soup and some of this and that is it. I'm gonna make them into patties. Hopefully I can make four, at least four out of that.
Well, I got the burgers cooking. They smell delicious. Mm -hmm. I got some, uh, what is that called? Well, it's called lettuce. <laughs> lettuce tomato. I'm thawing this out because I'm going to be making a dessert in a little while that I'm going to share. It's not sugar free, but it's definitely low in sugar and I think it's supposed to be low in calories. So it's, yeah, using these, but I'll show you in a minute. But there's Patrick. Welcome, y'all. <laughs> y'all. So many people just love you. That's they awesome. come here to see you, not to see me. <laughs> nice. They do. They say you brighten their day. Oh, you make score. them happy. They just think score. you're amazing. Patrick and I have just been too fun. talking. He got here about how many, what time did I say? I, 20 minutes ago. Yeah. We've been chatting. He's going to have dinner. And like then, siblings. Like I, siblings, you know. right? And then he has play practice. Like I was That's telling right. you, I if you read his. Coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to mm. be up late. Are you going to be up late? Is it probably. Late? Probably. And well, on Friday, y'all, we're leaving Friday night to drive from Virginia all the way to Alabama. Tomorrow for Ooh, us. Yeah. So when oh, you see this, that's it'll. True. Well, you're doing it next week, too. So right. Easter weekend. Yes. So twice. Good Friday and Easter. Right. So that's cool. You're performing mm -hmm. on Easter morning. Mm hmm. In Alabama. All of them are in Alabama. Hopefully, there won't be any storms when you're here. Birmingham, heading down Alabama. Oh, so if you're in Birmingham, do you know the, oh, you know the, uh, I don't, you don't know the church. I don't even know the church. Oh, bummer. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he's got, play. if you read his book, you know, about the Kings players, where he travels. That's who I'm touring with. Yeah. So, and you've been doing that for 20 years. That's very off true. Off crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. It's been a long time. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Um, it stopped raining, but it looks like, I don't know, looks like, I'll show you. Looks, you know, I love the weather. <laughs> um, it's like the sun is shining over here, but then there's like all these dark clouds. See, the sun is shining over there, but it's really dark off that way. Who knows? But I do know that my new light is way less bright than my old light, so I'm having to get used to that. A lot of times in the evenings, I have to turn on both lamps and have that on just I'm used to having it bright and then this this that I got I can't link this anymore when I click on the link I tried to put this in my Amazon shop but it's a totally different chandelier so I don't know yeah I don't know I can't link it anymore but two of the light bulbs went out one I hit on accident and the other one I think it just went out on its own so it's not as bright in here either so I apologize for my videos are not as bright as they used to be Patrick's texting me um yeah anyway Got the kitchen cleaned up. Dinner was delicious. I'm still going to share that recipe with you for the little dessert, but I'm going to let my food settle before I make that. And I got all the cats in here begging for food. It is not time for your dinner yet, okay? It's not time. They start about 8 o'clock. They start getting antsy and want their, I give them their canned food in the evenings. But anyway, Belle and I are going to go in the bathroom. <laughs> and if I mess this up, 
I'll be calling Madison to come help me. But the hard part is keeping her in there when Oliver wants to come in. And when he comes in, he just kind of like distracts her and makes it harder. So I have to keep him out and try and do this with just her. Come on. Go. Come on. Ollie, we're going to leave you out. <laughs> I'm going to cut Belle's hair. Yeah. I'm going to cut Belle's hair, but I don't need you distracting her, okay? Yeah. Take these off. We're going to take your collars off. Yeah. Okay. So here's a, here's a picture of her before. Hopefully. It'll turn out going. You say hi. <laughs> didn't do too bad it doesn't look too bad she definitely doesn't want me doing it around her face but thankfully she's black so you can't really tell where I messed up but we're gonna go ahead and give her a bath and then she is dying to get out of here okay are you bathed you're a lunatic <laughs> she's an actual lunatic Lord have mercy okay ready go on oh my goodness oh my goodness what? She's crazy. She gets wound up so much. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, you gotta rub all over the carpet. I know. Well, once she calms down. Ah, uh -uh, off the couch. <laughs> once she calms down, we'll see how it looks. Okay, got it all cleaned up. I don't know what was diff more difficult, cutting her and bathing her or cleaning up after the mess. That was kind of crazy. But she looks so cute. I didn't do too, too bad. I mean, obviously, I did not know what I was doing, so. <laughs> it looked fine until I bathed her. Now they're all like sticking up everywhere. All right, I had to change because I was literally covered. Covered, I didn't realize that, but I was completely covered in dog hair. <laughs> So I'm going to show you this recipe that I found on Pinterest. I've not tried it, but it's actually, you can use like the brand, it's called um, Simple Made. I'll write it down on the bottom. I think it's called Simply Made, something like that. But Elena was telling me they have like little graham crackers, which I saw, but they were like $6 for a box and I had already bought a box of these at Walmart. So I didn't buy those, but if you use those, maybe Simple Meals, anyway then it would be a little bit healthier a little less sugar but i am going to use one of these so the recipe calls for a half of a graham cracker and they didn't have honey graham they only had cinnamon so that's what i'm going to use you crumble that up and put it at the bottom of a little ramekin and then you add fresh peaches like three-fourths of a cup i think but i could not find fresh peaches anywhere they're just not in season right now and so I bought these canned peaches. I know these are not the best ones, but I'll try it with fresh peaches when I can. I also want to try it with maybe some berries. There was another one where you could use blueberries, but um, I want to do the peach. And then you just sprinkle a little cinnamon and drizzle a little honey over the top, cook it at 350 for 10 minutes, and then put some sugar-free Cool Whip on top. And it's not sugar-free, but it's, you know, low in sugar. And when it's in this tiny little ramekin, it's not that much, so. I'm gonna try it and see if I like it and then I will 
We'll let y'all know. And this is only one. I have another, uh, actually several more I want to try. So I thought maybe like once a week I could film one. And then maybe we'll find some that we really like. You know, when you're making just dessert for one person, this is really good when you don't want to, like everyone in your family isn't trying to watch their sugar or whatever. And you just want to treat for yourself. This is like a super easy individual, you know, little dessert. So... It doesn't look any different than when I put it in the oven. <laughs> I actually did it for 15 minutes instead of 10, but I'm going to add some Cool Whip and we'll see if the graham crackers have, you know, softened or cooked or whatever. Let's see. I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> it just looks like soggy graham cracker to me. I'm not sure. If you'd have used fresh peaches, maybe it wouldn't be that way. I don't know. I bet it'll taste good, but. I gotta let it cool down for a minute. All right, let's try it. Got a little graham cracker, a little peach, peach, and a little whipped cream. Oh. It's like a peach cobbler. <laughs> the graham cracker's not soggy. It's like, it's like a crust. That's really good. I would definitely recommend this. Like a little peach cobbler, and with fresh peaches, that would be even better. I might try it with, um, there's a blueberry one. I might try like raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries, like a berry cobbler. That would be really good. So easy. And just put a little graham cracker as your crust. A little sugar-free Cool Whip. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's really good. That's a fun little quick dessert when it's just you. You want something that's not going to, you know, be terrible for you. <laughs> that is delicious. This is my little Paula Deen. I mean, not Paula Deen. Pioneer Woman Bowl I got from Walmart. It's so cute and it's a perfect size. I'm gonna say goodnight and end this video. It's 8.30. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And thank you, I've just sat down for a few minutes and read while I was waiting for this to cook. I was reading some more comments. I haven't even had a chance to go through and like heart them all and comment back. But like I pinned a comment at the top just thanking you like seriously. Thank you so much. And I'm so thankful that like you can relate and you Feel like we're friends because I do too and it's it's just a journey this life is a journey and you know it's the, it's about how many people can come alongside you and walk with you and you know we're all in this together we're all placed on this earth at the same time and for whatever reason our paths have crossed and God has ordained that and you know there's a reason for it and the way that we react to each other, the way that we interact with each other, it's all, God is watching it all. And you know, when we uplift each other and we're kind, like you all have been in the comments, that really pleases his heart and he loves to see that. And it cancels out the negativity and all the harm that Satan wanted to do, you know, the light pushes out the darkness always. So thank you all for being a light. Thank you all for being on this journey with me and for loving me and my family and all the things. <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.